Hello, my dear students. Welcome to Concept Mastery. This session is for class 10. And in this session, we are going to solve practical questions related to elimination method. I already covered the introduction part of elimination method and I have ex explained all the steps that we need to follow while solving questions related to elimination method. So I'll provide you the link on the description box about the uh, introduction part of elimination method. So you need to please watch that video first or else you won't understand the steps that we are going to follow now to solve the practical questions. So please watch that video, uh, clear the concept behind elimination method and then you can come back and uh, learn how to solve the questions. So let's start. So I already solved the first question, the first question of question number one in that uh, introduction video. So today we'll solve the remaining question that is two, three and four. Uh, in this question, we are asked to solve, solve means we know that solve means we are told to find the um, value of the a variable right it means we need to find the value of this x and y so solve the following pair of linear equations by elimination method and substitution method but we are going to skip this method substitution method because we have already learned how to solve using substitution method and even in the exam they don't ask us to solve one question using both method okay so just in this session we're going to focus only in elimination method because we are in elimination method um, as of now so substitution method I'll skip this part I'll skip you try it by yourself so let's start okay just uh, let's us first revise what we have discussed in the introduction part so um, we have we need to follow some steps right so in order to use elimination method uh, what are the conditions that we need to have first we need to decide first we need to decide which variable we want to eliminate right first we need to decide which variable we want to eliminate after that after that after taking the decisions what we need to do is that we need to make the value same we need to make sure that values are same whichever variable we have selected the values of that variable should be same and the sign should be opposite right and the sign should be opposite so we need to have opposite sign so only then we can eliminate a variable or term right so out here first let us take a decision which variable we want to eliminate so i will take x actually y if we eliminate y it will be easier but i'll um, select x out here because i want you to learn one concept out here because uh, we have already solved uh, if we, if i select y then this type of question i've already solved in the introduction part so here i will be using uh, selecting x okay so 3x but uh, but why will be more easier okay so but we we'll need to learn both the methods right we need to learn uh, different types of conditions so out here i'll be selecting x so that uh, you are aware of different type of conditions so x uh, x we have 3x in the first equation and 2x in the second equation so this will be our first equation 3x plus 4y is equal to 10 will be our first equation and then we have 2x minus 2y is equal to 2 as second equation so oh, we have decided to uh, eliminate x out here so we have 3x and 2x right so we need to focus only in these two terms okay don't focus on other terms like 4y 10 forget about it just focus on the uh, variable which you have decide, uh, decided to eliminate so 3x and 2x so now first we need to make same value right we need to make same value so how can we make uh, how can we convert this 3x and 2x into same value so we can make use of multiplication out there right so that's why i want you to first watch the introduction part only then you will have the idea about what we are going to do out here okay so that part i won't explain like why we need to multiply and that's already uh, out there in the video so here we need we can multiply and make the value same so what uh, means how should we multiply out here like this is the first equation this is the second equation right i'm ignoring the other terms so in the first equation we have 3x in the second equation we have 2x so we cannot multiply a number with 3 and make it 2x right we cannot multiply a number uh, with 3 and make it 2x similarly we cannot multiply a number with 2 and make it 2x for example if we have 4x and 2x if we have 4x and 2x then here then here we can simply multiply this 2x with 2 and make it 4x and 4x right it will be same but here in this condition in the f um, condition in the first uh, f case in the first case we have 3x and 2x and then 
we cannot multiply a number with 3 and then make it 2 or we cannot multiply a number with 2 and make it 3 right that that means we need to have a uh, cross multiplication out here we need to we need to multiply both the equation out here see if we multiply this 3 with 2 and if we multiply this 2 with 3 then we are getting the same value right we will be getting 6x and we are 6x right so out here we are using the concept of cross multiplication that means the first equation has been multiplied with this value that is 2 and the second equation has been multiplied with the value 3 right because we cannot find a number which multiplied with 3 brings 2x so we cannot find a number which multiplied with 2 brings 3x so in such condition we need to cross multiply i'll give you one more example let's say we have 5x and 2x let's say we have 5x and 2x so even here we cannot multiply we don't have a number which multiplied with 5 gives us 2 uh, we don't have a, a number which multiplied with 2 gives us 5 right so in such conditions we need to cross multiply you simply multiply this 5 by 2 and this 2 by 5 so you'll get the same value 10x and 10x i hope now this concept is clear right in such in some conditions we multiply only one equation right we multiply only one equation even here if you are selecting a y if you have decided to eliminate y please try try to eliminate y practice both okay practice both so if you are eliminating y then we need to multiply only one equation that means you need to multiply only this second equation second equation by two because if you multiply the second equation by two 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 is a four y right you'll get four y four y no need to multiply the first equation but we are eliminating x so we need to multiply both the equation because we cannot we cannot multiply a number with three and uh and half two x or we cannot multiply a number with two uh, and half three x right so here cross multiplication is required so now we'll write down the statement so multiplying what we are doing we are multiplying which equation both the equations so multiplying equation one so equation one will be multiplied by which number so um, we had 3x and 2x and then we are multiplying equation 1 by 2 and equation three, uh, 2 by 3 right equation 1 by 2 and equation equation 2 by 3 simple right it's simple uh, you need to uh, mention the statement what you're going to do and after that we need to have opposite sign right we cannot have simply we cannot make the value same and then eliminate we need to have opposite sign so we are having 6x and 6s and then both of these have a uh, same sign right so 6x and 6x both of them have the same sign so whenever we have same sign we cannot eliminate so we need to do subtracting uh, we want to change the sign so whenever we want to change the sign we need to subtract right so and subtracting because we have same sign and same 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 sign cannot be eliminated okay so subtracting two from one because we are or we want to change the sign from subtracting two from one so we have 3x 3x plus 4y equal to 10 and out here we have 2x minus 2y equal to 2 so we are multiplying equation 1 by 2 and we need to multiply both side okay both left hand side as well as right hand side left hand side as well as right hand side with the same number out equation 2 by 3 right equation 2 by 3 so both left hand side and right hand side so the value of the multiplying will be what uh, even here even here we need to multiply both the term because we have mono uh, binomial out here right we need to multiply both the terms so 3 in 2 into 3 is 6x and 2 into 4 is 8y is in the right hand side we have 10 to the 20 so make sure that you are, you are multiplying each and every term you can you cannot multiply only the first term okay you need to multiply each and every term so we have 6x out here again 3 to the 6y again and then we have 2 3 to the 6 out here again so we got this term after multiplying now we'll be focusing on this term okay that means the product now after this multiplying multiplication part has been done now again we need to subtract yes or no we need to subtract as well so subtracting while subtracting we have we need to change the sign so plus will become minus because if if we don't see any sign out here, it's plus right and minus will become plus and again plus will become minus so we can cancel this two plus minus with same sign is zero plus minus with same sign is zero so now concentrate on plus sign when you are using 6y forget about this minus sign because this minus sign has been changed to plus so 6y is plus again 8y is also plus so plus plus will be plus so 8y plus 6y is 14y 8 plus y 6y is 14y and then we need to select the sign of the bigger number so and both not, not bigger number out here we have the same sign so the, it will the uh, even the addition part will have the same sign that is plus so twin now 20 has plus sign and 6 has minus sign 6 had plus sign but now it have minus sign so we have changed the sign so 6 is minus 20 is plus so plus minus is minus 20 minus 6 is 14 and what sign plus minus uh, we need to see the sign of the greater numbers that means 20 is greater so plus we need to select plus sign so y is equal to 14 divided by 14 because in between we have multiplication if we transfer it will be a uh, division so y is equal to 1 so we got y is equal to 1 now now we'll move to second part to find out the value of what to find out the value of 
x right to find out the value of x so what we need to do we need to put this value of y in equation any equation we need to put this value in of y in any equation so putting y is equal to one in equation one okay we are putting in equation one so what is equation one out here our equation one is 3x plus 4y equal 10 our equation one is 3x plus 3x plus 4y equal to 10 so in uh, in place of y we need to put 3x plus 4 into y is 1 equal to 10 and then we have 3x equal to 10 uh, okay I've done it directly, okay, because four ones are four, and then if, if we transfer it, we'll get plus, will be converted to minus. So 3x equal to, we have 6, and x is equal to 6 by 3. So 3 twos are 6. So we have solved the question. We have solved, and we got the answer as x equal to 2, and y is equal to 1. I hope it's clear. So we'll move to the next question. We'll move to the next question. You can also eliminate y out here, okay? I've just selected x because I want to do different, it will be different from the previous question. So you can you can admit y as well okay now we'll move to the second question but please make sure that you have watched the first video because without that you won't understand anything out here so in this in this second question of today's session actually this, it's a third question but for today's session it's a second question this second question i won't solve uh, i won't solve all the parts i'll just tell you what we need to do out here so 3x minus 5 y minus 4 equal to 0 and then we have 9x equal to 2y plus and that means this variable should be together okay this 9x and 2y should be together so this one you can keep as it is or if you want to solve like the previous question like in the previous question uh, we we had the constant term the constant term is a number without variable in the right hand side the constant term in the right hand side and but uh, in the second question we have constant term in the left hand side but it doesn't matter actually uh, we can uh, we can keep this constant term in the left hand side as well as right hand side so it depends upon if you want to keep in left hand side you can keep in left hand side and if you want to transfer it to the right hand side and solve that also you can do okay so let's let's transfer and then minus 4 will become plus 4 you can arrange like the previous questions and even here this 9x equal to 2y plus 7 you can arrange this as 9x and this plus 2y this plus 2y you need to transfer plus 2y if you transfer to left hand side it will be minus 2y equal to 7 out there so now you can solve using elimination method i will just keep as it is you practice it it's very simple you try it at home okay we'll move to the next question here we have fraction so while solving uh, L substitution method i told you that in any method in any of the method if you have questions in fraction in any of the methods substitution elimination or cross multiplication if you are finding question in fraction then you first remove the fraction you first remove the fraction not remove the fraction or you can say simplify the equation you can simplify the equation by removing the fraction so how are you going to remove the fraction i told I taught you the method that is you need to take the LCM right you need to take the LCM so first this is the question x plus x by 2y 2y by 3 equal to minus 1 so see it's not mandatory to remove the fraction you can directly start solving but I always prefer to remove the fraction because it makes easier in the latter part of the question it makes easier in the latter part of the solution so i'll remove the fraction i'll also suggest you to remove the fraction so lcm will be out here it will be 2 and 3 is 6 so 2 3 is 6 3 into x is 3x and 3 2 is 6 2 2 is 4y is equal to minus 1 now if you transfer this 6 to right hand side the fraction will be gone so we have minus 1 division will be converted uh, multiplication so we have 3x plus 4y is equal to minus 6 so this will be our first equation the second equation is x minus y by 3 equal to 3 so we can we have 1 in the denominator we'll take the lcm lcm will be 3 1 3 is a 3 3 into x is 3x 3 1 is a 3 1 into y is 1 y equal to 3 if we transfer this denominator right hand side our fraction will be gone so it will be 3 into all sim or right directly write down the answer this division will be converted into multiplication so 3 into 3 is 9 okay so now this is our second equation now we'll start solving so out here if you we first need to decide right we are so we are using elimination method out here first we need to decide which which uh, variable we want to eliminate out here if we concentrate if you observe the equation x is already equal x is already equal that means we have we have to follow two steps right that means whenever we have decided to eliminate any one of the variable in order to eliminate we need to have same value in order to eliminate we need to have same value and we need to have opposite sign so in order to make same value if the values are not same we used to uh, we used 
the help of multiplication right multiplication and then we make the value same but here but here if we select y x if we if we have decided to eliminate x then the value of x is already same the value of x is already same that means you can skip the first part you can skip the multiplication but that means it will make more easier right it will take less time but if we have decided to uh, eliminate y if we are deciding to eliminate y then you need to make the value same because it's 4y and 1y that means the values are not same and until unless the values are not same we cannot eliminate so that in that case if you are uh, if you have decided to eliminate y then you need to make the value same so that it will take uh, more time it will consume more time than to eliminate x so out here i will use i'll be a little bit smart and i'll select x and uh, eliminate x out here because we can skip the first part it is multiplication part so same value it's already same value so multiplication uh, is not required but we need to have the opposite sign right we can just have we can just have a uh, same value and eliminate we need to have opposite sign as well so this 3x has plus sign and this 3x also have plus sign so we need to ha have plus and minus right we need to have opposite sign so we want to change the sign out there we want to change the sign out there so whenever we want to change the sign what we need to do we need to subtract right we need to subtract see multiplication part multiplying this equation by this equation has been omitted out here because we have the same value and we have decided to eliminate x so subtracting 2 from 1 so write down the first equation first equation from 1 first equation is 3x plus 4y equal to minus 6 and then out here we have 3x minus 1y equal to 9 so uh, we just need to subtract only right multiplication is not required so while subtracting always change the uh, sign of the second equation okay not all the equation just the second equation change the sign make it opposite plus will become minus because we are subtracting minus plus becomes minus 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 becomes plus and then minus plus becomes again minus so now if we solve this one will be cancelled plus minus with same value zero and we have four y is plus sign even one y is plus sign so plus plus will be five y and then same sign so we can use plus sign out here minus minus is will again plus so 6 and 9 it's uh, 15 and then we have minus sign because we, they have the same sign so now what will be the value of y y will be equal to minus 15 divided by 5 so we have y equal to minus 3 so now we'll find out the value of x so we can do it out here so putting uh, putting putting uh, x oh sorry y is equal to minus 3 in which equation any equation in equation let's put it to equation 1 so in equation 1 we'll put minus 3 so in place of y so 3x plus in place of y we can put 4 into we because 4y in between we have multiplication right so 4 into in place of y we can put minus 3 equal to minus 6 so we have 3x plus minus is minus 4 3 is a 12 equal to minus 6 and then 3x equal to minus 6 plus 12 because minus 12 will be converted into plus because we are transferring this minus 12 to right hand side so that we can have like terms together number number on one side right so 3x equal to uh, we have how much we'll have uh, 6 out here plus 6 because 12 is greater and x equal to 6 divided by 3 so we are having x equal to 2 so therefore we have solved the um, solution or uh, question that means we have x equal to 2 and y is equal to y is equal to minus 3 so this is our solution so we have completed the practical questions related to elimination method from the next session we'll start cross multiplication method and then we'll go to uh, word problems okay so uh, as i've said i've dis divided this whole chapter into four parts graphical representation which we are done with and then we are in now we are in algebraic method so in al even in algebraic method we have we are done with substitution and from this session we are done with elimination as well now we are left with cross multiplication after cover completing cross multiplication we'll move to word problems okay so thank you